pick six options and there are three right, three wrong, you're at zero, right? So here you cannot go lower than zero. Zero is the lowest that you can go. Let's say I picked all three options that are all wrong, I still get zero. I don't get minus three or minus two. Here, there are always two or three right answers. What I tell people, you cannot spend more than a minute and a half on this question because this question is going to be the second uh, question in your reading section. You cannot spend so much time. So if you're not sure, Hello everybody, Alex here again from Dream English, the director and the main teacher here at our Sydney location. Um, before I continue with any of the tips, any of the tricks, I want to mention one thing. I really, really appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving and all the messages and all the requests. But unfortunately, I'm not able to provide online coaching at the moment. Our teaching staff, myself included, were fully booked with the students we gave we get live in person here in Australia. So although I do appreciate your messages that you sent out to our Facebook page, unfortunately, I can't back, get back to all of them. I can't reply to all of them. So for now, guys, I'm not selling anything. I'm not uh, charging you for anything. I'm not, um, you know, trying to sell you any course, anything like that, because at the moment we don't offer that. Um, so at the moment, these are, this is the only thing I can give is provide you guys free value. Hopefully you find it useful just to pay it back for a lot of the people watching from India and Pakistan and Nepal and Philippines that can't come to our class. So let's get started. Today I want to cover one topic that um, a lot of students struggle with and they always give me a headache about it, but it's actually not that important, which is MCQs. Both in the listening section and in the reading section, you will counter MCQs, single answer and multiple answer. And a lot of people obsess over them. They think they're really, really important. They think it, uh, it's crucial and they're really bad at it and they don't know what to do. In class itself, I give a lot of shortcuts, so I won't be able to fit everything uh, here in the short video that we have, but I want to cover a few things. Um, let's start with the reading section itself. In the past, MCQs, especially single answer that you see on my screen here, were a lot more important because they came in the beginning. So if you took the exam six or seven or eight months ago, let's say anytime in 2017, you would start with MCQ single answer and you finish with fill in the blanks at the end. Now they actually change the order. So you actually will not get these fill in the blanks, sorry, these single answer MCQs till the very end. So in the past, the worst phone call that I'd get from one of my students, they call me after the exam, they say, Alex, the exam went great. I got this and this and this question repeated. Unfortunately, I missed a question or two. Right away, I would shake my head. I knew it was uh, single. In the past, it would be fill in the blanks because they came in the end. Right away, 5%, 10% gone on the exam. Failed the exam, failed the reading section. Nowadays, you're going to start with the question you see on the screen here, which is um, fill in the blanks with the drop-down menu where you get four options for every blank missing. Then you actually can continue with multiple choice, choose multiple answers that you see on the screen where the computer lets you pick as many options as you want, but there are only two or three right answers. So this is what I want to focus on the most uh, because your single answer come at the end. Quite frankly, I don't care if you get it right or wrong. If you fill in the blanks are good, you will get your marks in reading. So here, most people don't know this, but these questions have negative marks. The reason PT does this is because as you can see on my screen, I can actually select all the options. So PT, they will not give you free marks for no reason. That's why if you pick six options and there are three right, three wrong, you're at zero, right? So here you cannot go lower than zero. Zero is the lowest that you can go. Let's say I picked all three options that are all wrong. I still get zero. I don't get minus three or minus two. Here, there are always two or three right answers. What I tell people, you cannot spend more than a minute and a half on this question because this question is going to be the second uh, question in your reading section. You cannot spend so much time. So... If you're not sure, pick one option, stick with one option. The reason why, you either get it right and you get your mark, or you don't get it right, you get zero. Or if you're still not sure and you're guessing, guess three options. Because you either have the chance to get all three right if there are three answers and you get three marks, which is rare, but it happens. You can get two right, one wrong, meaning you still get one mark, because plus two, minus one, obviously because of the negative marks. Or you get all three wrong, and obviously then you still get zero. But the probabilities are in your favor mathematically, statistically, to get more marks. The worst number by far to guess is two. A lot of people get greedy and they always pick, I see it every day on the mock test that students do here, they pick one right, one wrong, they get zero. One right, one wrong, they get zero. So don't get greedy. I promise you to get 65 plus, 79 plus, you don't need to get all the MCQs right to get full marks in the reading section. Um, as a matter of fact, when students pass the exam and I ask them here specifically as an example, even people that get 19 reading, they stick with one option usually. So pick the options, you know, 100%. Don't go guessing two or three options if you're not sure. Same thing goes for listening, except one thing I want to emphasize for both reading and listening, 
So let's, right now you're gonna see me go into the listening section of the exam. So here you're gonna hear an audio, and then obviously you have to pick which answer is right or, uh, and which one is wrong. One thing you need to pay attention to, if there are five options to pick from, like you see on my screen at the moment, you can only have a maximum of two right answers. Why is that? So picture if you pick all five options as I did on the screen, and let's say the first two are right and the rest are wrong. Makes sense, you get zero. But let's say the first three are right and the last two are wrong. It doesn't make sense that Pearson would give me three marks correct and minus two marks wrong because I'd still be getting one mark for free. Again, guys, Pearson, uh, these guys are really smart. They will not give you free marks for no reason. So if you have five options to pick from in listening MCQs or reading MCQs, there are only two right answers. Please do not go clicking looking for the third one. Again, some people don't know the negative marks and they pick all the options and they get zero. doesn't make any sense. So let's recap this. For multiple choice, multiple answers specifically. If you have five options to pick from, you only have two right answers. If you have to guess after some time, you don't know what the answer is, stick with one. Don't guess two. Two is the worst number by far to guess. So pick one option, stick with it, click next. Don't waste too much time. If you have more than five options to pick from, you always get either two or three answers, but you don't know exactly which one it is. So if you're guessing, if you don't know, guess one or guess three. Never guess two. If you're not sure, pick one option, stick with it. Again, obviously, if you're confident in your reading ability and you know for sure you've got two right answers, then uh, good for you. But anyways, that's it, guys. MCQ is, again, not that important. For the reading section, if your fill-in-the-blanks are good, if your reorder paragraphs you're getting consistently half marks, you will pass your reading section with more than 65 or more than 79. Same thing for listening section. All the MCQs combined don't even adapt to one dictation, as I mentioned in the previous videos. And a lot of people worry too much about MCQs and single answer and all these questions that are nonsense. They miss dictation, they fail the exam. So all of these questions in the listening special section specifically don't even adapt to one dictation. So don't waste your time. Use the strategies I just said. Best of luck. And again, uh, thank you again for all your comments, all your messages on Facebook. I'm sorry I cannot get to all of them. So please, if you need to contact me, unfortunately, I can't give my WhatsApp number on YouTube, but please leave your comments in the YouTube sections. I'm active there. My team is active. We're there every day to give you guys free value and answer your questions. So subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what else you want to learn about. And I'll see you guys next week with the PT Tips of the Week. Oh,